Welcome back. For years, homelessness has impacted people all across our country. It can start from a loss of income, a sudden illness, an accident, and a range of other things. Substance use, an issue with a relationship. And activists say it can happen to anyone. Here in Maricopa County, the most recent annual street and shelter count found more than 9,400 people experiencing homelessness at the start of this year. And of course, the goal is to lower that number each and every year, which is why on the start of National Homelessness Awareness Month, our next guest is shining a light on the help that is available to people who need it. We're joined now by Mike Shore, who's the president and CEO of Home Inc. Mike, thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. So Home has been uh, working in our community for a long time in Maricopa County, more than 30 years, but you're doing something a little bit different. You have a new initiative hmm. targeting landlords. Tell us about how that works. Yeah, so uh, as you said, Home for 30 years has been providing rental assistance to individuals and families that used to be homeless that are now thriving in their own rental homes in the communities. Um, just today, November 1st, we sent out about $5.4 million um, to about 1,700 different landlords across this state uh, to pay the rent um, for the individuals and families that we serve. We can't do that if we don't have property owners and managers that are willing to uh, make their rental units available to the housing programs and the participants that we serve. And so we started uh, a new service called Threshold a couple of years back. Um, that is all about going out and recruiting and incentivizing and retaining property owners and managers so that we can expand housing choice for those that we serve in our communities. So you guys provide the vouchers that are subsidizing these rentals. Uh, there's often a perception, I think, that folks experiencing homelessness either don't want to be in housing or if they are put in housing that they would be bad tenants or something. Mm -hmm. What is your experience with that? Yeah, just the opposite. Um, in fact, uh, generally about 85 to 90 percent of the time a year later after somebody comes out of the experience of homelessness whether that's on the streets or a shelter and gets back into stable housing that they can afford and then importantly that we wrap them with the right services and the support that they need in order to you know um, achieve the outcomes that they want in life they stay stably housed right they can take care of their health care they can take care of as you said behavioral health or substance use or any issue that they may have it's much easier to do that when you have a roof over your head and a stable place to do it from. What would be your sales pitch then to the landlords out there, to the building managers out there who are watching this story and maybe have rooms available? Yeah, um, you know, I think what we've tried to do is uh, really involve them as meaningful stakeholders. We've listened to them and found out what are your goals and objectives in your business? How do we make sure that these programs are a win-win? Um, and so we uh, essentially are putting forward financial incentives in some cases, signing bonuses, risk mitigation funds that are set aside. So at the end of a tenancy, if there are any issues, any unpaid rent or damages, we can make that landlord whole for those. And then we have you know, a centralized um, one-stop shop. You know, instead of having to navigate eight or nine different homeless services agencies to you know, get support and get somebody to answer the phone, you can call one place. So we think that we've really put together a market-based solution um, for getting people housed in these voucher programs that work for landlords and the participants that we serve. Next week, obviously, there's an election, and one of the questions is uh, Prop 312, which deals with homelessness and taxation. Yeah. Uh, how would that affect the work that you do in the community? Well, it, it, I think that it's a little problematic. It's, it's an unproven, untested idea. I think if uh, a property owner were to be reimbursed for uh, any damages that they may experience as a result of mitigation of homelessness related issues at their properties, that's going to distract our city and the investments that we can make in homelessness for real solutions. So um, I'm not uh, in favor of that particular proposition. Um, but it's literally and figuratively on the ballot this year. Homelessness is a real issue that we all have to pay attention to. And by the way, you can read more about Prop 312 and all of the propositions on our website right now. We've got a voter guide with, all, with both sides of the issue. Mike Shore from Home Inc., thank you, Mike, so much for coming in right. today. Thanks for having me. All right, and as mentioned, you can find more information on this program, Threshold, on our website, azfamily.com. Just click on.